Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about what to do when your iPhone keeps restarting. So, your iPhone stops responding and keeps restarting randomly on its own. The device restarts and displays the Apple logo on and off. It never seems to turn on. Instead, your iPhone is just stuck in a restarting loop, constantly turning off and showing the Apple logo. In such a scenario, your iPhone is totally unusable. Sometimes, you find iPhone keeps rebooting itself every few minutes, like 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, and so on. As it restarts intermittently, you can still enter the device until the next time it starts rebooting again. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix an iPhone that keeps restarting itself over and over. First, let's quickly go through some scenarios that most users in the Apple Discussions community might encounter when the iPhone keeps restarting itself Apple logo. After iOS 16 or iOS 17 update, your iPhone keeps crashing and restarting itself a couple of times a day when you try to unlock it. Your iPhone is constantly restarting instead of turning off but won't turn on with a low battery. Your iPhone keeps freezing and rebooting to the Apple logo and then shutting off when charging and repeating the process. Your device restarts again and again after battery replacement or screen replacement. Next, let's take a look at why does your iPhone restart by itself repeatedly. We'll quickly highlight some common reasons for the iPhone restart problems. Bad updates. A corrupted iOS software download process will cause your iPhone to start all over again. Bad third-party apps. Low storage space. An iPhone with insufficient storage space will be more likely to have a repeatedly restarting issue. System glitches or malware attacks. Temperature too high or too low. Jailbreaking. Battery needs to be replaced. Broken hardware components. Liquid damage. Now, in the following, we'll show you how to fix an iPhone that keeps rebooting and showing the Apple logo. Instead of doing a high-cost repair or replacement, there are some free and easy methods you can try to stop your iPhone from restarting over and over again. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to fix iPhone that keeps restarting and won't turn on by yourself. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. Method 1 is to force restart iPhone. Whenever an iPhone keeps crashing and begins restarting randomly, an unknown bug or system glitch may be to blame. Thankfully, Apple gets it and gives iPhone users a force restart trick to stop a restart loop. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and the side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. You can repeat the steps a couple of times if your iPhone remains stuck in a loop of restarting. Doing this is safe and you won't lose your important data and content. Method 2 is to remove faulty apps. The step is only for the users who can still access the iPhone even when it keeps restarting. If you're not, move to the next step. So, your iPhone is restarting every couple of minutes so that you still have a short time to use your device as normal. Now, think about if the constant reboot problem happens after you download a third-party app. If you suspect it is, try to remove the app and see if the issue is fixed. On your iPhone home screen, find the app that causes your iPhone to restart. Press and hold the app icon. Tap Remove App, Tap Delete App, Tap Delete to confirm. Repeat the steps if you suspect that more than one app could be at fault. Hope your iPhone turns on and stops rebooting. Method 3 is to charge iPhone. iPhone keeps restarting and battery drains? Charge your iPhone. Use an Apple certified USB cable and power adapter to charge your iPhone through a wall power outlet. Don't use a wireless charger or do the charging with a computer USB port. After charging your iPhone for at least one hour, Force restart your device and hope you settle the iPhone rebooting problems. If your iPhone keeps on restarting itself when charging, unplug the cable and clean the charging port. And you can switch a cable or charger that's in good condition. Then, plug in the cable and charge for one hour again. Once done, do a force restart and see if the problem persists. 
Method 4 is to take out SIM card. Chances are you insert the SIM card into your iPhone incorrectly. Not only does it interfere with the connection to the phone carrier, but it may also lead to an iPhone rebooting loop. Now, follow the steps to take out SIM card. Locate the SIM card tray. Eject the SIM card tray using the Apple SIM card removal tool or a small paperclip. Gently pull out the tray and take out the SIM card from the iPhone. Force restart your iPhone. If taking out a SIM card doesn't get your iPhone out of constant restarting, move on to the next step. Method 5 is to update iPhone under recovery mode. This method aims to help you fix iPhone restarting over and over again without deleting your data. Compared with the methods above, this method might be a little complicated. To get you through this method simply, we'll introduce the process step by step. You can watch the whole process first, and then try again. Now, let's start. Get a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Get your random restarting iPhone. Alright, now run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. Don't select the restore option as it will delete everything on your iPhone. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Method 6 is to reset iPhone under recovery mode. If the update doesn't help, the issue could lie in your iPhone internal settings. Resetting the device is the easiest way to fix the problem. Unlike doing an update, resetting is a process of erasing all data and settings and restoring it to its original state when it was first manufactured. This means that all personal data, including contacts, messages, photos, and apps, will be deleted from the device, and all settings will be reset to their default values. If you have already owned a recent backup for all essential content, follow the steps below to reset your iPhone. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box in your computer, choose the restore option and follow the steps that are left. A few seconds later, it'll erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. Method 7 is to repair iPhone. Yes, it's time for booking a genius bar appointment if none of the methods above work. Because it implies a problem related to the hardware components that causes your device to restart over and over. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone that keeps restarting randomly itself. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your iPhone rebooting issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.